Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about solving multi-step equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, minus 12, or negative 12, times x minus 12, equals negative 9, times 1 plus 7x. Alright, so now what I want to do is I'm going to distribute, alright, Simplify on each, on each side of the equal signs. I'm going to distribute the negative 12 across. Negative 12 times x is negative 12x. Negative 12 times negative 12 is a positive 144. Okay. Then we have the negative 9. So let's distribute the negative 9 across. Negative 9 times 1 is a negative 9. And negative 9 times 7x is a negative 63x. So what I want to do now is combine my like terms. I'm going to bring my variables to the left and my numbers to the right. So I'm going to add a 63x to both sides. And I'm going to subtract a 144 to both sides. That leaves me with negative 12x plus 63x, which really comes out to be a 51, 51x. So we have 51x right there. And then negative 9. Minus 144, okay, uh, minus 144 is a, oh, let's add that, a negative 153, okay, we have a minus 153 here, okay, so now we have 51x equals a minus 153, well, what are the odds that 51 goes into 153 three times, right, so let's go check it out, 153 divided by 51, is just three fantastic. So I'm going to divide by 51 to both sides here. I'm left with x by itself, and negative 153 divided by 51 is just a negative three, and there we have it. Our final answer here is just x equals a negative three. So let's recap. We're given negative 12 times x minus 12, and that's equal to negative nine times one plus seven x. I distribute for both parentheses the corresponding numbers, negative 12 across here to be negative 12 x plus 144. And negative 9 gave me negative 9 minus 63x. I then brought all my variables to the left and numbers to the right. That gave me a 51x equals a negative 153. I divided by 51 of those sides, giving me x by itself, and that's going to be equal to a negative 3, and that is our final answer. 